So what kind of organisms need transport systems? Well, some organisms are made of just one cell. They're called unicellular organisms. There is no need for blood vessels, blood, lungs, or gills. They just obtain the oxygen they need by diffusion through their cell membrane. And they're so small, they don't need to transport it around. This is because they have a large surface area compared with their volume, which is relatively small. We say that they have a large surface area to volume ratio. Larger multicellular organisms like this oak tree, they require a transport system to supply all the cells with what they need. In the case of plants, the transport system involves a network of veins or vascular bundles that run between the roots all the way uh, through the plant to the leaves. Now these veins carry important substances around the plant to where they are needed. And there are two types of vessel within a vascular bundle, the xylem vessels and the phloem. Now you can clearly see the veins on this oak leaf here, branching into smaller ones in order to try and reach every single cell. The xylem transports water and dissolved minerals and the phloem transports sugars and amino acids. Here's a cross section of a stem, so a cut slice straight through a plant stem. And you can see the vascular bundles arranged, or arranged around the outside. This gives the stem some structure and support. And you have the phloem around the outer areas of the vascular bundles and the xylem within that. Now the xylem transports water and dissolved minerals from the roots up the shoots and to the leaves in one direction, just like this. Do you know that actually the xylem is made of dead cells? They're, they're dead and they, they have all their cytoplasm removed and the end cell walls removed to make a nice hollow lumen, like a straw, which is able for the water to be able to travel up through the plant. And it is strengthened by something called lignin, which makes it nice and strong uh, to, in order to transport the water in this way. The phloem is a little bit different. The phloem transports products of photosynthesis made in the leaf to all other parts of the plant. So it's not just going in one direction, it goes to where it is needed. It can go up the plant or down the plant. Now the kind of things that it's gonna be transporting are sugars, mostly sucrose, uh, needed for respiration around the plant and to provide energy, uh, and amino acids which are needed for growth. The sugar could be taken to the root and stored as starch, for example. This movement up and down and around the plant to where it's needed uh, in the phloem is known as translocation. 